Good evening, Craig. Um, two games Alex. passed since we last spoke. Um, a, diff a difficult defeat to head defeat. How did you see the game from the dugout? Um, I thought we played as well as we, we could. Um, lacked a bit of penetration up front. That's been, you know, a story of most of our season. Um, and they, you know, I mean, they're a super side, you know. They yeah. probably put two sides out that could win the league, you know. But, you know, with the budget, as I said, with the money they got, it's fantastic, you know. So uh, they've got great players. Um, yeah, and uh, we was we were second best. But I thought, we, you know, we moved the ball well, we passed the ball well. Um, had a good chance after they went 1-0 up. And then second half really was basically long shots, pot shots that weren't great from us. Uh, but yeah, overall, overall, the game-wise, I thought we, we didn't do too bad. Well, that yeah. And then on Tuesday night, we followed up with a game that shows if you don't do your chances, it comes back to bite you. How did you see the game against Chelmsford? Yeah, well, you know, funny enough, it was it was I was really pleased with that because I thought. For the first time in in a number of games, we look we look quite dangerous, you know. And um, <clears throat> having said that, the the first thirty minutes they should have been out of sight. I mean, they they murdered us the first thirty minutes, twenty minutes, whatever. And but we, you know, fair play. And I was a, I was a bit worried about it because on the back of the heavy defeat, a uh, uh, three 0 defeat at Ebbsfleet, and then going down one 0 and then you you you. Under the cosh and really and truly, they should have scored a couple more. I was, I was worried for us a little because, you know, we, like I say, we're a very young side. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was great for them, you know, great experience for them because they dug their way back in, fought, fought back in. In the last 15 minutes of the half, I, I thought we was growing into the game and scoring right on half time, literally right on half time. Was was fantastic, and I was really pleased for Kenny because he's 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 been having an hard time like lately, where you know all strikers go yeah. for it when they're not scoring. His confidence was a bit low, particularly like I looked at him at Ebbsfleet, and he he did look low on confidence, and um, scoring a goal I thought summed up a good first half for him, and the second half he he, he grew in confidence. I thought he'd done really really well, and to be honest, the second half. I thought I really fancied us to win, and the longer the game went on, the more I thought we looked the more likely to score. Yeah. Obviously, getting a pen, you know, um, with I think 11 minutes ago, and yeah. you think that's you know we scored that, we we you know we should go on and win it. Keepers made a decent save, <clears throat> um, and as I said to Kenny, blimey, we've seen we sit in the last few weeks seeing Salah miss, Saka miss, Ireland last night. Happens to the best, you know, and at least he hit the target and made, made the keeper pull out a decent save. And then Sod's Law, within two minutes, they've, they've made it 2-1. Uh, really good header. And even after that, we had, we had a couple of half chances, one really good chance. But we couldn't get it. And, um, you know, um, but they're a good side, Ch Chelmsford, you know, and... Uh, it was yeah, it was tough, and it's, it's it's left us in a really really difficult situation. Yeah, exactly. Not, not out of it completely, yeah. you know, but we need to win our last three games and rely on results a little. But exactly, yeah. um, there was an incident against the F League game. What was your thoughts on it? Well, um, and this, uh, I, I suppose I'll have to choose my words wisely. <laughs> now I watched the video. Um, our VO, yep. but it was from across the pitch, and you couldn't really see much, you know. And uh, I know what happened, obviously. <laughs> and then I got, uh, you know, um, I was pleasantly surprised. Someone from Ebbsfleet sent me the video, okay. their video, which is right on top of the incident. Yep. They said like it was embarrassing, and like um, so, I've had a look at it, and then it would confirm what I, what I thought. Um, now there was this ludicrous suggestion, and this was obviously come from their manager, that I'm calling him the referee to stop the game. Yeah. Now we're three 0 down, but not not to stop the game, big problem, because there was a clash of heads. Okay. Now we're three 0 down into injury time. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna come back and win it. It was ridiculous. You can clearly hear on their video 
that where I'm calling Isaac because the ball that led to the clash of eights yeah. was was a, a poor ball from Isaac. I'm having a gut at Isaac. He's turned around and acknowledged it. You can see all this on the video. So with that, he's come over to me, grabbed hold of my arm and started having a go and I poked him. Yeah. Poked him. You see this on the yeah. video? And he's gone down like he's been hooked by Mike Tyson. Um, of course it hasn't been the season that we wanted, yeah. but we've got to think of the fans, the home and, going home and away. What are your thoughts on the fans this season? <laughs> Not just this season, yeah. every season. They, you know, they've grown in number. They are absolutely unreal. You know, they're fantastic lads um, and lassies. <laughs> um, you know, we've got a lot of lady supporters. And, you know, they've been fantastic, you know what I mean? <clears throat> we losing 3-0 at uh, Ebb's Fleet and they're singing their hearts out and you know we're, we're looking doomed after um, Chelmsford 2-1 uh, two, two defeat and now it's not in our hands you know we're you know they're clapping us up the pitch they see the boys are giving all that they're all and they've just been been fantastic like they always are <clears throat> you know great set of lads um, <clears throat> and it's you know it's it just just a terrific club to be at, you know, and um, you know, so yeah, I'm very appreciative of their support, and um, yeah, it's, I can't, can't speak highly enough of them. Okay, and looking forward to um, a game on Saturday. Any new injuries or any new squad updates? No, just like obviously, us, you know, it's, it's more or less confirmed now that Tyrell and Joe are at. You know, I've only got another week in season; yeah. they've got no chance of uh, figuring in the last three games. Um, but uh, touch wood, everyone else is okay. Uh, Reese isn't in tonight. He's got a bit of a bug, you know. So hopefully he'll be recovered for uh, Saturday and be available for selection. But uh, other than that, yeah, you know, um, we, we we're looking um, pretty tidy. Well, hopefully the training session goes well tonight, and we'll see you Saturday, Craig. Lovely. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome.